Up next is the App of the Week segment. This is a segment dedicated to app demonstrations. Should you have an app that you would like to demonstrate for our listeners, feel free to send us the recording of such an app demo to contact us at blindandroidusers.com. And now for this week's episode, here's your App of the Week. our app of the week segment where warren demonstrates another ai reader this time it's listen ai hi for episode 205 app of the week this is demonstrating listen ai this is a similar app to the one i demonstrated for last week's episode that's episode 204 in the way of the speak up ai text-to-speech engine the one thing I like about this app is the fact that unlike SpeakUp AI, however, this one allows you to listen to your book with the screen shut off. For today's demonstration, I'm utilizing my Pixel 9 XL Pro running Android 15 and TalkBack 15.x. For the text-to-speech engine, I am utilizing the Karen voice variant from Acapella. I am on the play page of Listen AI and now we'll navigate to the about so we hear both the description of the app and the app history. Here's that description and app history. About this app, heading. Google Play Store, Listen AI, text to speech, details. Listen Docs, PDF and web pages. Allowed reader, text to speech, voice and audio. TTS AI. Listen AI, unveiling the power of text to speech. Turn text into speech and open your ears to the written word. Listen AI isn't just a text to speech tool, it's your effortless companion for a world of information, narrated at your pace. Here's how Listen AI elevates your experience. Unmatched vocal majesty, immerse yourself in a variety of crystal clear, expressive voices that blur the line between human and machine. Choose from a range of accents and personalities to find the perfect narrator for any content, be it a casual blog post or a formal report. Customization at your fingertips, tailor your listening experience to your preferences. Adjust the speaking rate to match your comprehension speed, or fine-tune the volume for optimal comfort. Effortless integration, forget copy-pasting. Listen AI seamlessly converts text from documents and web pages into spoken content. Highlight a passage on a website, a section in a PDF, or an entire document, and Listen AI will bring it to life with its captivating narration. Multitasking Masterclass, free up your eyes and ears for other activities. Listen to articles, web pages, and PDFs while you exercise, commute, cook, or complete chores. Listen AI lets you learn and stay informed while you conquer your to-do list. Accessibility Champion, Listen AI is a game changer for those with visual impairments or learning disabilities. Reading lengthy documents or educational materials can be a challenge. Listen AI transforms text into an engaging audio experience, making learning and information access more accessible than ever before. Listen AI, it's not just reading, it's experiencing. Terms and conditions, https colon slash slash static dot listen a dot app slash code space underscore listen underscore AI underscore text underscore to underscore speech underscore terms underscore and underscore conditions underscore eng dot html privacy policy https colon slash slash static dot listen a dot app slash code space underscore listen underscore ai underscore text underscore to underscore speech underscore privacy underscore policy underscore eng dot html community guidelines https colon slash slash static dot listen a dot app slash code space underscore listen underscore ai underscore text underscore to underscore speech underscore community underscore guidelines underscore eng dot html App Info Version 1.0.1 Updated on September 23, 2024 Downloads 50,000 plus downloads Download size 31.17 MB Required OS Android 5.0 and up In app purchases $4.99 minus $129.99 per item 
offered by Code Space Digital, released on September 20th, 2024. And that's both the description of the app and its history. As you heard, this is from a developer called Codespace Digital. I think it's probably Codespace Digital because it's D-I-J-I-T-A-L. I'll now navigate back to the installation page and tap on that install and let's get started. Play Store. About this app, head Install button. Verified by Play Product. Pending. Navigate up button. Listen AI. Text to speech. 0%, 87%, 100%. Installing. There we go. We are done with installation. And now I'll tap on Open to get started. Open button in. Takes it a little while to finish loading, and it's loading. Listen AI. Welcome to Listen AI. There we go. Upon opening the app, we are told, Welcome to Listen AI. At the bottom, Get Started button is the Get Started. Scan text, web link, type and paste text, PDF and more. Turn any document to audio. Listen to PDFs, articles, news and more. And at the bottom, Continue button. Take notes on key concepts. Take notes on key ideas with a single tap. And at the bottom. Continue button. Increase your productivity. Listen to texts faster. Learn more. And at the bottom. Continue button. Choose your voice. We're now on a page of voice selection, and below here are a set of voices that you could tap on to listen to. And after tapping on a voice, that voice by default is selected. So if you like that voice, then all you need to do is tap the confirm voice selection at the bottom of the phone. We start though with the first one, and it's... Elena. Yes, Elena. I'm going to tap to listen. Hi. I would be happy to read text for you. Choose me if you like the sound of my voice. Next to Elena, we got... Mike. Tap to listen. Hi, I would be happy to read text for you. Choose me if you like the sound of my voice. Next. Dan. Hi, I would be happy to read text for you. Choose me if you like the sound of my voice. Next. Selena. Hi, I would be happy to read text for you. Choose me if you like the sound of my voice. And last but not least, Mary. Hi, I would be happy to read text for you. Choose me if you like the sound of my voice. Now, I used to have a girlfriend named Mary, but this doesn't sound anything like Mary. So I'm not sure that I'm going to choose Mary. Probably I'm going to choose Elena just for giggles for the time being. I'll move my finger back to the top and tap on Elena. Elena. Hi, I would be happy to read text for you. Choose me if you like the sound of my voice. And now at the bottom across the screen is the confirm voice selection or confirm. Continue button. Continue rather. Button. You heard button and that's Detected the one icon thing. left image. That's the one thing that I am not very happy about, even though the description of the app says that this is a champion of accessibility. For some reason, however, the developer forgot to label some of these buttons. And I'll show you where these unlabeled buttons are found. And that's the first one that we come across. This is that one there on the top left corner of the phone. And TalkBack is doing the heavy lifting here via the image description. And it says left. That's the back key. Now, on the top right-hand corner, however, we got... Restore. We got the Restore. Moving down, though, we encounter... Listen AI Pro. That is, if you want to choose the Pro version. And as we heard in the description of the app, it's $4.99 a week. Or, as we can see here later on, you could buy a lifetime subscription for $39. Moving on. Read anything aloud in the highest quality voices. 
So in other words, if you get the pro version, you're going to be able to have better voices than those samples that we have. I am not sure if we'll have more voices than those that I demonstrated. I probably will have to take the trial to see what it is. And below that we have PDFs and more. Scan text. Web pages. Type or paste text. Those are the things that you could do with this app. In other words, you could read your PDF files with it. And I do attest that it opens up PDFs relatively fast. And I tested it with a 53 MB file. Let's move on. Three days free trial, auto renewal. Four US dollars and 99 cents slash week. No payment now button. Next. Det build once. $39.99 slash lifetime. Save 70%. And? Start my three-day free trial. Or? Privacy button. Vertical line. Terms button. Cancel anytime. And now I need to simply tap on that back button on the top left corner to close out of this dialog. Button. Hello today. Allow Listen AI to send you notifications. Allow button. And of course, you know me for being notorious for not allowing notifications. I'm going to say don't allow. It's totally up to you. Don't allow button. Listen AI. Hello today. We're now on the menu eye of the app. And the first thing we heard was welcome today or hello today. And listen AI. Now, Essentially, what we have on this screen is a screen containing four controls. So we've got one to the left, one to the right, then another one at the bottom to the first one on the left, and another one to the bottom of the other one on the right. The first one we have here on the left is PDF and more. Transform PDFs and other file types button. And then to the right of that. Scan text. Scan documents or images button. Now below PDF, web link, convert URLs to audio button. And to the right of that, type or paste text, input or paste text to listen button. Now at the bottom, we have three tabs. We got starting from the left, my library tab one of three button. We have the my library tab and then in the middle, selected add content tab two of three button is the add content and to the right of that settings tab three of three button is the settings tab. Those are the only tabs that we have at the bottom. Let's go into the settings though, because probably we have some things here that are worth mentioning. Let's go ahead and tap settings tab three of three. Starting from the top, here are the items we find within the settings. Share listen AI. Next. Change voice, Elena. Change voice. In other words, if you don't like the voice you've selected, you could tap here to go change it. Like us, rate us, white heart. Next. Email support. Restore purchase. Privacy policy. Terms of service. Community guidelines. And that's what we have from within the settings. I do, however, want to mention here in passing that don't do your back gesture or tapping the back button because that will take you out of the app. In other words, the app would close. So if you want to do something else within the app, your best bet is to tap on one of the tabs at the bottom. So I will be tapping on the add content so that we import something and show you how it works before I bring this to a close. I'll now tap on that add content in the middle at the bottom. That's the second tab at the bottom. Add content tab two of three button. First, I would like to import a PDF file. So I'm going to tap the first one on the left. PDF and more. Tra books. Show roots button. Detected text books. As you could hear, it said PDFs and more. However, because we've tapped on import PDF, if you have an EPUB book, for example, and when you tap on it, nothing is going to happen because it's only importing PDFs. Below here, though, I have some of my recent apps, and I do have a book in the public domain by William T. Sherman, which is his memoirs. Now I'm going to tap on that book. 
Memoirs of General William T. Sherman. PDF, 56.07 megabytes, November. F and all I need to do is just tap on it. Listen, AI. Hello today, out of grid. As you can see, it brings us back to the menu I where I tapped on the importation of the PDF. Give it a little bit of time for it to process. And once it processes, it will open up the book. And as you can see, this is a bigger book, so it will take it a little bit of a time. And there it goes. It's beginning to import it as I can Button see. Button more media control. Mem there we go. Sherman M. Me. Detected icon left. Little heart. Button. As you can tell, it started reading. I had to tap to stop it. With the book open, we have more buttons. On the top, though, we have that back button there on the top left. And then to the right of it, as I indicated, the top button there is unlabeled. And also these buttons here are also unlabeled. We have two more buttons on the top right. The first one. Button. It simply says button, but if you leave it here, detected you'll hear image, the description. a blue box with three horizontal lines inside. And if I tap on that, all that it seems to do is that it zooms in on the book. And to the right of that, button. We hear button again, and but this one is the one that says detected my notes. image, black paper with a hole in the center. In other words, if you tap here, you'll see the notes that you've taken on a particular subject or on the book. So this is where your notes would be located. I tap here to show you what I'm talking about. Dialogue. My notes. Nothing to note. There we go. I have no notes here, but at the bottom. Add note button. Is an add note button. I'll go back. Button. By tapping that button there on the top right again, it toggles Detected, me back. icon, close, image, a black That's X symbol in a circle, button. button. Those are the only buttons we have there at the top, so we got three buttons. At the bottom, however, we have like four or so buttons. Starting from the bottom left, we got 1.0x speed. That's the speed, and to the right of it, Button is another unlabeled, but that's the back button or left. And then to Detected. the right, button. we have the play button. And to the right, button. that is the forward button. And the last button on the right, take note, button, is the take note button. Those are the buttons that we find here. Detected image, a blue circle. And now, before I show you the last thing that I want to show you that will be the scanning process, though, I want to go to the library. That's the first tab on the bottom left. And see that there's another button there that you will find to the right of every book that is found in your library. Let's go ahead and tap on My Library. My Library tab one of three button. I am now in the My Library and... Near the top, we find the first book that I have in my library. Memoirs of General William. And to the right of it. Button. Is an unlabeled button, which is the more options. If you leave your top Detected right there. icon. More. Image. Three dots. There we go. If you tap on this. Dialog. Download audio. Listen in the best quality offline. Button. And below that. Rename file. Button. And the last. Delete file. Button. That's what we have. And now, before I bring this to a close, let's go ahead and tab on that add content at the bottom in the middle and go try to scan a piece of paper. Add content tab two of three. And I'll be tapping on scan text. Scan doc. Allow listen AI to take pictures and record video while using the app button. I have typed out a line or two, and now I'm going to tell it to allow so I could scan it, and that's here. Listen AI. Cancel button. We heard cancel. Basically, now I have the live view of the camera. I do want to mention here, however, that just like the other screens, we have some unlabeled buttons here. There are two of them here at the bottom. The first one on the left is the gallery. In other words, if you tap on that, you'll be selecting uh, JPEG files from 
your gallery to be recognized. Button. If I leave my screen reader on there, it will tell us what that button is. Detected image: a white photo icon with the sun and waves in the sky. And to the right of that is your shutter button. That's all that we have. So I'm going to stand up here a little bit and touch this button and tap on it to take a picture. Button. Detected image: a simple black circle. Retake button. I just tapped on the shutter button, and the first thing we heard was retake button. That button is found at the bottom left. At the bottom right, we got save scan button. Save scan. I tap here. Can button. And now that I have tapped on that save, we're now on a different screen, and it still shows us the live view of the camera. And we have more buttons here. On the top left, we have cancel button. Cancel, and then on the top right corner, button, we have a button that simply says button. However, this says detected image, a lightning bolt. And whenever I tap on that, nothing happens. And then at the bottom of the phone, though, we have some other buttons. At the bottom left, of course, we got button. Detected image: a white photo icon with the sun and waves in the sky. In other words, it's the same button I could tap on there to import something from my gallery. And then in the middle, button, we have the shutter button, button. And the last button here on the right is that unlabel button. But we need to tap on that. Detected image: an off-white background with a blue circle in the center. Tapping on that button now places us on a new screen, where we can see the image that we have just captured. And on the top left is the back button, and to the right is save and listen one button. So if I tap here, save and listen. Hello and welcome to episode two hundred five app of the week of the Blind Android Users Podcast. This is a demonstration of an app called Listen AI TTS by a developer called Codespace Digital. Have fun using Listen AI. And that's what I just captured that I typed out. And this would bring us to the conclusion of Listen AI. I hope that you find it useful, and it's something that you would like to use. I have written to the developer and awaiting his or her response. About these unlabeled buttons, since he or she had indicated that this is the champion of accessibility, and somehow it has fallen short of that description. Thanks for listening. A few, a few things to say about this. I, th I, th I think Kareen, you flagged first, didn't you? The um, the fact it claimed to be a what was it? A, a champion of accessibility or something? And its buttons. Yeah, exactly. They mentioned accessibility in the description, and then uh, it it contains a lot of unlabeled buttons. I don't know what do they, what do they think about accessibility? What's accessibility? Uh, someone should ask them to define accessibility or screen reader compatibility, and then we'll see. So yeah, this is um, a real problem when a developer just say says that okay, this app is accessible, and then nothing. You know, it's funny you mentioned that because I had written to them、uh, as soon as I actually I wrote to them before I demonstrated the app. So far, though, I haven't heard back, and I said, "Well, you, in your description, you had indicated how it is a champion for accessibility, and I applaud you for saying that." However, somehow I think you missed、um, these portions because when you do this action, then you. Run into unlabeled buttons and all of that.、Uh, the only things that are accessible in here is you know, a lot of things are accessible, but then some of the finer parts, you know, the buttons, all the playback controls, and all the whatevers are not labeled. And so, if we're going to keep you as champions of accessibility, you need to fix that. And I hope that you guys get to fix that. But like I said, I haven't heard back from them, so. Kind of wondering what's going on, and maybe my、uh, message fell into China or some crazy place that you know they didn't see. But I'll try to write them again. If I don't hear back from them by Monday, I'm going to write again. Yes, sometimes,、uh, sometimes persistence is what takes you through. 
Yeah, or a crazy place like a US Dry County or somewhere really weird. Uh, hey, uh, they will. My Dry County? What, what are you? What are you talking about? You <laughs> dumbhead! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but seriously, I mean, if you're going to be, I think what they are thinking about accessibility is probably the thinking, okay, you can hear it. So whether you're blind or not, uh, you know, you can hear it being played back to you. Therefore, we're, you know, doing something accessible. The only thing that I like about it, you know, over the uh, Speak Up AI is the fact that you could listen to it with the screen shut off. And I'm a big, big, big uh support of uh, listening to things with my screen shut off. I don't want my screen on. Or I don't want to be paying just to have a background playback. It's just, so I, on this part, I give them, you know, props for doing that. Yeah. I mean, I, I think another area we were talking before the show and I was kind of with Kareen was I wasn't, I wasn't convinced about the quality of the voices they offered. It's not, it's not really holding a candle to 11 labs or anything, is it? They sounded relatively synthetic to me. But, uh... yeah, so uh, I will try the, uh, I, I was going to try the uh, trial to see what the pro voices would sound like or premium voices would sound like. However, I haven't tried it. Um, but I'll, I'll do that as soon as we're done here and see. And I'll, I'll report back to you guys on the Telegram uh, channel. I wonder how many of these app developers who have had these text-to-speech apps already in the Play Store have just decided to add AI to the name because, <laughs> because AI is so popular now. Because it's like, how is this using AI? It's just a, yet another uh, voice that doesn't sound great. Yeah, I, I, I think that's right, isn't it? Uh, it's crazy. They just they are just calling it AI when it when it really isn't. Warren, I have a question uh, about something that you didn't um, talk about in the demo, or I missed that thing, that part um, regarding the screen reader. Um, can the screen reader read the uh, content of the book, or just uh, the the, the uh, the read aloud feature works. Uh, that's a very good one. Uh, yes, you can read the content. Um, it's exposed to our screen reader. And another good thing about it is that, let's say you just uh, you are not listening to the uh, your TTS uh, put out or, and then read out rather, and then you scroll down and you just find an area with your screen reader and you double tap there, it will jump and start reading from that place. So that's another plus. The other weird thing about this app was its pricing as well. Uh, I thought I'd misheard it when he demonstrated it, and I listened back because was it was it something like five dollars a week and thirty nine lifetime? Yeah, I, I had to double check on that because at first I thought maybe I was seeing it wrong, uh, but yeah, indeed, it's five dollars a, a week if you. I uh, don't want to do the lifetime of uh, forty dollars, thirty nine dollars. I mean, just um, rounding these numbers, but yeah, uh, four ninety nine weekly, um, or or you could have a thirty nine ninety nine uh, lifetime subscription. And to me, when you add it all up, you're better off having the lifetime subscription of forty dollars versus in two weeks or five weeks, you're probably close to that amount if you're just going to do a weekly thing. Maybe they have some data that we don't, and maybe they maybe they realize that people only use their app for about a month and decide I don't want this anymore, and they're like, yeah. "Let's just tempt them into paying for two months <laughs> since, they're gonna, <laughs> since they're gonna quit after one month." Yeah, I, I was wondering something similar actually. Like, if you do it at four ninety nine a month and thirty nine dollars lifetime. Maybe folks would get bored, and they'd never, they'd never see that. So, because you would, you wouldn't necessarily jump to the thirty nine, would you, on something like that? So, perhaps, yeah, I, th I think you're right, John. I think, I think they must have done something like that. And you know, another thing that I noticed was missing here is that there's no annual subscription. So you either have that weekly thing, uh, or you have the uh, pay ones and call it good. Well, you can't have an annual subscription of five dollars a week and thirty nine dollars lifetime, can you? Because that's eight weeks. Like, what? What is the annual subscription? <laughs> well, the annual subscription could be something like uh, maybe uh, 
twenty five dollars. You know, yeah, it been, I don't know. It would have been more typical for the thirty nine to be the annual, and yeah. then have a lifetime <laughs> that was like, uh, I don't know, seventy nine or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but that's not what they've done. So if you if you've gone there, they, they see a middle way for an annual subscription. <laughs> well, but I, I give it to them though, at least, because uh, some of them don't even have a one-time payment. They want to keep milking you uh, every year or every month or whatever. So at least this one you have that option. Because I'd rather pay you forty dollars and never look back. Yeah, I would too. The, the counter argument goes, I think, that I've seen, and it's not one I actually subscribe to. I, I would much rather pay an upfront price. But the counter argument goes, if you've got a subscription, then there's more incentive for the dev to keep updating the app. Because if you've, you know, if you've sold your app and uh, your sales drop off, then why keep updating it? Which subscriptions are supposed to incentivize? Like, like I say, I don't, I don't necessarily sign up to that, but that's. That's the reason that folks say they need subscriptions. 